Summertime Rendering is now on Hulu and it is one of the best anime in the entire world. If you haven't watched it, go watch it because today we are eating and making Shinpei's famous curry from Summertime Rendering. I'm excited for this. Oh uh, my gosh, they rave about it in mm -hmm, the anime. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ushio's favorite. She basically comes back to life just, just for, for this. Yeah, uh, yeah. Spoilers obviously for Summertime Rendering. Uh, basic ingredients and uh, recipe is going to be down in the description. Let's jump into the recipe. This recipe calls for a bunch of fresh vegetables, including onion, tomato, garlic, ginger, and of course, green pepper. Other dry ingredients we're looking at today, paprika, curry powder, salt, pepper, handashi, and cake flour. First things first, let's make our rice. Now remember, it is always important to always wash your rice. Doing so will remove dirt and dust, removing harmful chemicals like arsenic, and removing excess starch so you get that nice, thick, fluffy rice. Next up, we begin our stock. We start with four cups of water, one tablespoon dashi, and two tablespoons of chicken bouillon. Now feel free to adjust this recipe as necessary to taste. We stir and set over low heat. Next up, let's prep our chicken. Depending on size, we'll be taking about four to six chicken thighs, cutting them into small bite-sized chunks. In a heated skillet, we start to cook them. Be sure as the chicken is cooking thoroughly, we check on the rice and stock. Once the chicken is done cooking, remove it from heat, salt, and set aside. Next, it's time to prep the vegetables. For this recipe, we're using one whole onion, cut into varying sizes to add a little bit of texture. Dicing one half and leaving the other half a little bit larger. Next, about four to five cloves of garlic, minced. We can add these directly with our onions as they'll be going in the pot at the same time. Next up, one tomato. Again, you can cut this to your own preference to have a variety of textures in your curry. And next up, our green bell pepper. Cutting off the ends. removing the pith and seeds, and then slicing. Be sure not to discard the top and the bottom. Finally, we have our ginger, taking about a thumb's worth. We then use a spoon to remove the skin. And finally, mince that. And once again, we can add this to our onions and garlic. Now it's time to make the curry itself. We start off with one tablespoon vegetable oil, three tablespoons of butter, and let that melt over medium heat. Add in your onion, garlic, and ginger. Now stir occasionally, heating. We wanna soften the onions and brown the garlic and ginger. This may take a little bit of time, so keep your eye on it and stay patient. Once the onions are softened and the garlic and ginger have browned, we can go ahead and add our tomato. After a few minutes, we add our peppers. We want to keep the peppers just a little bit firm. 
we go ahead and add in our stock. Make sure everything is well mixed. Lower the heat to low heat. And now we carefully add in our chicken. We take our flour and slowly sift it and mix it in. If we dump it all in at the same time, we might get a few clumps. So be sure to take your time with this. Next up, we add our curry. Continue to simmer on low heat. You can tell that the curry is entering its final stages as it sticks to the side of the pot. While this is simmering, let's take a look at the real life location that Summertime Rendering is based on. We're looking at Tomogashima Island, which is right off the coast of Wakayama Prefecture. Now, Wakayama Prefecture is known for their variety of fruit. So with today's curry, we can add in persimmons, pears, or apples to add a little bit of sweetness. Otherwise, you can leave it as is. So now it's time to plate. Grab yourself a good portion of rice. And finally, we add in our curry. And there we have it. Shinpei's famous curry from Summertime Rendering. We're back. Full curry dish uh, plated and not sliding off the plate. Shinpei's famous curry. So we're, we're used to uh, in New York eating go-go curry, uh, which is actually from like Kanazawa in uh, Ishikawa Prefecture. Kind of like a darker, thicker curry. Mm. So down here you get like the lighter curry. Depending on how you use the stock and how much you use, that'll determine on how thick it gets. But let's let's dive into this. Let's taste. Let's say Shinpei's famous yeah. curry. So uh, green pepper, famous curry. Just a little bit of white rice. Mm. That's really good. That's really good. Mm. Yeah. And that that curry is, it's just very mild. You get a little bit of the spice. Yeah. Again, you can add in uh, like a dash of paprika depending on how you like your spice level. But uh, yeah, this is really Delicious. good. Delicious. It's not too spicy mm. because mm -hmm. I can't handle a ton of spice. Mm -hmm. But Mm. Yeah, everything's cooked just right. Remembering that things are going to continue yeah, to cook good. while they're simmering. So be on the lookout for that. As mentioned in the video, the the place where summertime rendering kind of takes place, Hirogashima Island, which is based off of Tomogashima Island, mm. is right off the coast of Wakayama and Wakayama Prefecture, known for their fruits. Uh, so adding in a little bit of pear, adding a little bit of plum, mm. adding a little bit of even pineapple if you want to get weird. Mm. Mm. Pineapple is just good. I'm yeah. not the biggest curry fan, mm -hmm. but this is like, this is delicious. Yeah, uh, 11 out of 10. I would definitely make this again. Uh, adding in something like pork katsu, mm -hmm. mm, I think would be really good to liven it up. So obviously like cutting out the chicken and then adding in like the pork katsu on top as your protein. Mm. A little bit of finished rice. Mm -hmm. mm. You can stick around if you want. Stick around and watch us eat. Make it. Go watch Summertime Rendering on Hulu. Stay tuned because we're going to be playing some Summertime Rendering games. If you like this video, leave a like on it. Subscribe to Let's Watch the Anime. And we'll see you in the next one. We'll send you some. We'll send you some in the mail. Goodbye.